Everyone has their theories about how the big magic illusions are performed, but when it comes to close-up magic, all you can do is sit back and be amazed. Tonight, we have a legend in the art of conjuring. Please welcome the world champion of close-up magic, Michael Amar. Thank you, John. We really have an interesting element to add to this because now not only do we have our audience, we also have added some security investigators from the casino. We have Pete and Claudio here. They uh, have been trained to watch guys like me doing <laughs> stuff like this. And they're going to watch every element of things that have taken place. We also have Robert here who's going to be our timer. Uh, now, before we get to exactly what Robert's going to be timing, uh, let's see. Let me uh, see if we can't do a little something. Do me a favor. Uh, I want to riffle down with my left thumb. Just say stop anytime you'd like. Stop. Right there. See, if I separate it right there, all I have to do is whistle. <laughs> See, that's one. That's two. That's three. Oh, yeah. And if I give it a little snap. Yes, that's yeah. four. <laughs> that's one, two, three, four cards. We're going to use those four aces. And when Robert says go with that stopwatch, running to time every second, I'm going to take those four aces and I'm going to shuffle them into four different parts of the deck, but not a normal shuffle. It's going to be what they call a slop shuffle. That's where you take some of the cards face up, some of the cards face down, and you shuffle them face up into face down. Now, Claudio and P, what I want you guys to do at all times, be making sure there's nothing hidden inside of my hands, make sure there's no extra things coming from anywhere, that we're doing just what we're saying. And Robert, to make sure that I know where I am through those process, I'm going to put those four aces in, shuffle it four times, then I'm going to find those same four aces again, but I'm going to do everything in exactly 30 seconds so that I'll know where I am. When we get to five, go five. When I get to 10, go 10, 15, 20. And that way I'll know where I am, okay? And I can start any time that you say go. Go. There's the ace of clubs, the ace of hearts, the ace of spades, the ace of diamonds. That's four aces, four different parts. I'll push them flush. Five. I'll take some of those cards face up, and I'll shuffle face up into face down and push them flush, Ten. just like this. I'll turn them over again. I'll shuffle face up into face down, push them flush, and even take some out from 15. the center. Turn them all over and shuffle face up into face down and push those cards flush just like that. Twenty. Twenty. Oh, jeez, I better <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shuffle. Okay, okay. Twenty-five. Okay, stop. How much time had passed when I said stop? It's Twenty-six. 26 seconds. Now, <laughs> I haven't found the aces yet, but I've been thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was thinking, he's so busy keeping time, you probably didn't get to see anything I was doing, did you? <laughs> I want to catch Robert up on what I've been doing. Claudio, Pete, they've been watching everything. But, Robert, as you can see, the cards are being shuffled face up into face down. You can even look from the edges and see that all the cards are involved in the shuffle, all the way from the top, all the way to the bottom. You know, as these fellas know, uh, with the classic riffle stacking systems, uh, with practice, you can actually see the cards coming off the thumbs. Now, you see the card you want. Then it's just a matter of stopping there, dropping the number of your cards you want to put it in the right position. It's a riffle stacking thing. But it, in any case, I said I was going to do everything in exactly 30 seconds. I stopped you at 26. I'll count down from there so that you can watch right along with everybody else. Starting again, right at 26, 27, 28, yeah. 29 at 30. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. All right. Now, what's neat is that deck that we shuffled face up into face down. It all faces the same way now. Each and every card, and I found the only four aces in the entire deck. But not only did I find those aces, but in that same 30 seconds, I also stacked the royal flush in clubs. That's the 10, jack, queen, king, ace of clubs. The 10, jack, queen, royal flush in spades, royal flush in hearts, royal flush in diamonds. That's all. Awesome. Royal flushes. <laughs>